What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I'm going to give you guys my weekly recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the 8th of August 2017. Now if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much much appreciated on my behalf and on this video guys I will be giving away 5 uh, Rockstar Destiny 2 exclusive gear codes so if you want to be in for a chance of winning leave a like and leave a comment. Winners will be picked and chosen via YouTube direct message so make sure your messages are open on YouTube or you won't be able to win a code. Okay so getting straight into the video and this week we're going to start with a Crucible Quartermaster. Uh, so let's see what he has. Now I've already been through these weapons and I can give you guys straight recommendations of what I believe you should buy. And first up, the party favour. The party favour this week is probably one of the best roles we've seen it come with. We've got an encounter balance, perfect balance, eye of the storm or feeding frenzy. Having two stability perks and having the best stability perk in the game counterbalance, this weapon will wreck faces, it seriously will. So it's definitely worth you... Um, Considering it seriously is, now, there's not much else here to be honest, which I must buy. Um, the palindrome this week's pretty bad. Uh, the each new day isn't too bad, but it hasn't got any range. We've got a hidden hand, uh, brace frame, or accelerated coils with unflinching or Icarus. Um, I mean, its its range isn't the it isn't great. That's not like it's not great at all. But with stability, with brace frame like this, this thing is not going to bounce at all. So, you know, you may be able to hit people at distance anyway. Uh, we've got Hidden Hand on it as well with better target acquisition. So, yeah. Uh, and you can do it in midair. Icarus improved accuracy while airborne. So, yeah, if you're in need of a decent fusion rifle, not an amazing one, you may want to check out the each new day this week at the Crucible. Um, and the last weapon we're going to take a look at here is Anton's Rule, um, a sidearm. We know sidearms rule PvP at the moment. This one comes with a range finder. Uh, hand loaded or lightweight, relentless tracker or army of one. Uh, we've also got any fast draw, true sight or quick draw. Here I'd probably go with a range finder, lightweight and relentless tracker, as crazy as that sounds. Um, we've got 15 bullets in the mag already, so this thing's, well you don't really need extra bullets. I mean a lot of the sidearms come with like 12, 11 bullets in the mag. This has got 15 as standard. With range finder as well, lightweight to get about faster, relentless tracker to, you know, you know what that does. So yeah. Why not? A uh, great sidearm this week with the Anton's Rule at the Crucible. Um, so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to skip to the Vanguard and see what they have this week. Okay, so the Vanguard this week has got quite a, a decent selection. Um, and we're going to start with the Continental Auto Rifle, one of my favourite weapons in the game. This this week is going to be the wild card, my wild card. The weapon I, well, I think it's going to be a beast, it, it, but you will be taking a risk on it. I mean... I love this weapon, I've got it with a perfect roll, three stability perks on it, um, and it doesn't drop range. This this week has two stability perks with hand laid stock and persistence, but it does drop range, but you will get, an, it'll be like a laser beam. We also get on it as well, spray and play or grenadier. Um, so I'd probably go with the top three perks here, or you could go with appended mag, uh, persistence and spray and play. But I'd definitely go with the top three perks me. Um, this thing will be like a laser beam, but like I said, it will have no range, but does anybody even try and use uh, auto rifles at range nowadays? I don't think they do, to be honest, but yeah. Um, so next up we have the Parthian shot. Now the Parthian shot you'll take a first look at and think, well that's pretty bad, but then take a double look at it, it's actually decent. We've got an encounter balance, small bore or rifled, with Eye of the Storm, or take a knee. Take a knee is a great underrated perk with a weapon such as this. I mean, the Parthian shot is a mid to long range weapon, easily capable of two shotting, uh, well, two burst headshotting somebody. Quite easily can do that. Um, with take a knee, you get like improved accuracy and stability, as well as reduced aim time and flinch under fire. That with rifled, so you got extra range. With counterbalance, the best ability perk in the game. This thing is going to tear up at range. I probably wouldn't say you'd still be able to hit uh, two bursts to the head instantly without missing a shot. I still think it's going to be a three burst kill here because hitting two bursts to the head is going to be really difficult at range. But still, this will outgun more or less any weapon in the game. Obviously, you've got the meters and them, them kind of scouts and you've got these amazing snipers. You ain't going to out outgun them. But anything else, you're going to do. You're going to, you're going to murder. You really will. Um, so yes, the Parthian shot this week is actually quite decent. Okay, next up we have the Sidearm, which is the Teacup Tempest. 
this weapon right here um, like I said standard magazine of 11 not that great but still this week we're having it hot swap snapshot casket mag Zen moment or crowd control with true sight, sure shot, or quick draw. On this, I'd definitely go for crowd control, casket mag, and hot swap. Hasn't got range, got no range perks at all, but it has got three amazing perks extended mag, basically, crowd control, we all know what that does, and hot swap. So, yes, the teacup tempest is quite decent this week. Okay, so next up, we have a fusion rifle. The X asterisk now this is actually decent. I mean it hasn't got great impact as standard, uh, but on it this week we've got rangefinder, brace frame or rifled with unflinching or replenish. I mean unflinching, rifled and rangefinder. This thing is gonna murder people. It's gonna get them so far across map. Or you could go with brace frame if you want extra stability, but it's gonna drop your magazine size down to two or three. So yeah, I'd probably go with Rangefinder here, uh, Rifled and Unflinching. Great fusion rifle this week with the Vanguard. Um, and I think that is it. Was there anything else here? Um, oh yes, the Disassembly Required is not too bad either. On it, we've got on it Cluster Bomb, Field Scout and Battle Runner. A great role for PvE this week, but the amount of decent rocket launchers that I brought week in, week out. I'd be surprised if you still need one. Um, so yes guys, uh, that is it for Vanguard, we're going to go to, oh we've got a, a dancing party here, um, I'm going to go to Dead Orbit now and give you guys my recommendations there. Okay so this week at Dead Orbit, it's got one or two things that are okay, might, worth your, might be worth your time checking out. Um, the first one this week is the Keystone 01, a great great PvE weapon. I think we've got Firefly. Perfect balance or unflinching with armor piercing rounds or lightweight. Now this weapon, I've said this week in week out, it needs stability. We've got a decent stability perk here with perfect balance because I know it shoots slow, but it still bounces all over the shop when you try and hit them headshots. So yes, perfect balance, armor piercing and firefly. This can also make a decent PvP weapon as well, especially for them long range maps, although there's not many in the game. But yes, sitting back with this, you will destroy people, you really will. Next up we have... An auto rifle in the extreme of file 011. Now, again, not the best, but it's actually quite decent. And it we've got persistence, hammer forged, or spray and play with extended mag or lightweight. Top three perks I'll go with here, and it could be quite decent. This, this weapon actually wrecks, it shoots quite quick. It, if you can hit all headshots, it does serious damage. It seriously does, kills quite quick, actually. Um, next up, we have. And this right here, I think this is the final weapon to talk about this week with uh, Dead Orbit, and it's the Unto Dust 00. Again, grenades and horseshoes, tripod, uh, fled magwell, or lightweight. Now we've got any grenades and horseshoes and tripod. Grenades and horseshoes ain't once what it was, it used to be ridiculous. Now you literally have to touch your opponents in PvP for it to explode and to kill them. But other than it's it's not the worst you can have but with tripod this could be quite good even though the blast radius ain't great yeah then again actually double forts double forts yeah there's a better uh, rocket launcher with vanguard this week so yeah i'd probably go with that one uh, so now we're going to go and check out future war and see if they have anything decent to offer this week Okay, so this week at Future War Coat, um, again, one or two decent things. Nothing spectacular, but one or two definitely decent things. And first up, we have the Waltz, a ridiculously fast firing uh, pulse rifle. But on it this week, we've got Head Seeker, we've got a stability perk in perfect balance, and we've also got extended mag. So, top three perks here could be quite decent. You're not going to land all shots with this weapon. No chance. I mean, it just it just shoots too quick. It's like the Grasper Malik archetype of pulse rifles. So you need as much stability as you can get. We've only got perfect balance this week with the warts, but we've also got head seeker and um, extended mag. Aim for the body, and your headshots will do increase damage. So yes, the warts this week is quite good. Next up, we have a scout rifle, which I've recommended so many times, and this week's no different. It's Great, great weapon. It's just like a legendary Mida Multi tool. This week we've got any crowd control, perfect balance, or outlaw with high caliber rounds or quick draw. So, yes, there's quite a variety of ways you can set this up and it'd still be monstrous. So, the wounded this week is definitely worth your time checking out if you do need a scout rifle. And I believe that was it. I don't think there's anything else that great here with um, Future Warcraft. No, there is not. 
So yes, um, okay, so we're gonna go and check out New Monarchy now and hopefully they have something decent to offer because New Monarchy, as we know, normally suck week in, week out. Okay, so New Monarchy, look at this, look at this, look at this amount of people around me. Okay, so New Monarchy this week is just a waste of time. I say this week in, week out. People are, um, who are with New Monarchy, I don't know, even know why. Switch to Future Walkout, they just bring the best things every week. Uh, but yes, I'll give you guys a quick uh, review of everything they've got. Just nothing, just nothing great. I mean, the Sniper and the Heavy are always half decent week in, week out. But other than that... This is nothing great here. Nothing I would suspect you need. Um, so yes, guys, that is it uh, for another weekly vendor reset recommendation video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated on my behalf. Thanks, as always, for stopping by, and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right